It's Ray Give TV. Hold up, hold up. It's your boy Ray Give TV. Back with some more heat. Oh, you didn't know. I got the content. Click that bell, tune in. Okay, so check it out. WAC 100 reacts to Soldier Boy and Blueface IG Live. Her Blueface calling out Soldier for a fade and telling him it's in the location. And Soldier sends it. What? I want to give a shout out to WAC 100, the whole 100 side, spin the block. Let's get to the content. It's Ray Gift TV. Mama, your baby mama offset and you snitched about it and cried That's about it. That's not my baby mama, scientifically proven. Zim in the morning show called him Blueface weird. He said Blueface and Soldier Boy are weird. Oh, well, what happened? That's weird? what. I, yeah, I said that. I said. I said the internet. These both. These that was a weird conversation. I said that. Yeah. But what I was weird about the conversation? I just both of them just going back and forth. But I, you know, like I said, they was trolling, and then and then we ran the oh, KO no. contact, Blueface and then I was, said, "See, Zim, that's why I be telling a lot of from out of town. They gotta stay where they at. That man got in." His, do you know where that address was at? That address was in the gutter. Whack, whack, whack. Let's that go through the whole line, though, whack. They played the first content. I made the comment. Then we played the second he one where trolled. he really pulled up. That I'm like, trolled. okay, he's not trolling. Okay. He but when I said the trolling there. line was from when Hold we played on. the first one. Then he drove down there by himself. I'm going to tell you it was weird. I got a call last night. They said, whack, we got 150000 We want to straighten the fight in the parking lot. I hear Soldier Boy. He went dark on me. I said, bro, you doing it? They can give you 150 just straighten the fight. They can win, lose, or draw. He on his way. Whack, he going to show up with a buck. I said, he's going by himself. He don't want nobody with him. Yeah, now we can tell from that dark. second content when you pull up in that neighborhood, ask a question. We can tell, oh, he ain't trolling. He went dark. No, he wasn't trolling. I don't know what about. That's what I'm saying, see. I was telling R&B this today. It's Ray Give TV. You got cats. Especially like in them New Yorker rooms over there, they say certain that it act is it activates us. Get you dead homies. You get hit that. Why can't you admit that? I hear you. I hear you, bro. Yeah, you know what you did no, wrong. No, no, listen, listen, listen. You listen. bit off more than you could chew. You barked up the wrong Man, tree. you got me. Big Draco. And then what you talk about? That. that when that told him up. And all that. It was, he was serious. When that told that dropped the low on schoolyard crib on pulling up. At that point, it's serious. Serious, serious. That's, serious. that's some trigger words, huh? Yeah, at, at that point, when like, he says on schoolyard, that means he's really not playing. He's putting it on his hood. But you, but you when know, you start saying on schoolyard, yeah, yeah that's yeah, on his know, hood. A lot of people say that. That's why I took uh, it like that. Uh, uh, we don't do that, on Cali, though. We different. Like you put it on your hood. He put nah. See, Zim, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, like you gotta, and this is why I tell people. When I leave the West, I don't entertain it Fair. because it's be playing or they think no certain is for real. And to them, I don't know if it's, I don't know, like, why they feel like they can say certain and it ain't there. It ain't certain violations. It got to be addressed right now. So pretty much Wack is saying Blueface is not trolling. He put it on schoolyard, dropped the low. He want that. You know what I mean? So when you hear somebody from the West Coast put it on their hood, they serious. You know what I mean? That's go time. In other words, let's do it. You feel me? But who you guys got, man? Blueface and Soldier, who you got your money on? I see some great promo going already for it. You feel me? And people are talking. This might make it to celebrity boxing. So let's see what happens. Now let's get back to the content. Why you think you keep hearing me tell another? Do I say yo do sales? Is is you the like? It's where it's at. Why you keep talking to me? Come back to Cali from up there. Don't say a word to me. He's telling me not. This is why I know his gangster water down. We gonna fight. We gonna fight. Hey bro, when well, you didn't cross the threshold of fighting, it's no more fighting. 
for the rest yeah. of your life, you got to look over your shoulder. For the rest of your life, you're going to be hunted. But this let me know this why he left and went up dead for the last 14 years. He didn't ad- adopted the ways of somewhere else. We going to fight. So what? Huh? There's too many violations. Called you a rat too many times, Wack. We ain't no fighting, no is they no fighting. We ain't no fighting. We we ain't setting up no linking up no fighting. Too fight. many violations. But see, he's so caught up and wh- he wants to attach his this what he thinks. If I attach my name to Wax in some way, I'll be famous. This is what's going through this dude's head. He wants to be a record label exec. If you listen to him talk, he say a bunch of words about shit that he ain't never did. This is what you're dealing with. He's so caught up in it, he didn't forgot mentally what certain shit means. So every time... We can set up a boxing match. If you the type of nigga ready to meet up, let's do it tonight. All right, so let me DM the address, and that's it. Just pull up. DM the address right now. You know, all kind of... Hey, bro, it's the, that's why his home for a little stretch. Told Chuck, hey, bro, I know what these politics that I ain't got nothing to say. Because I'm on probation. Man, that'll get you DP'd out here in these L.A. streets. On that's why I see schoolyard crypt. Probation. Violation. He didn't tap me on my shoulder. I remember stretch down here. See, stretch down here. He'd be at these parks. So stretch ain't no fool. This up here in Madison, Wisconsin or something. So, you know, when certain was set on the live, I already knew what time it was. And Soldier Boy, I don't know why, I told Soldier, like, you know, you can't whoop that boy with them hands, that boy hurts you. Like, you know. But now Soldier Boy looking crazy. He looking crazy because it's morning. I'm going to get on the phone and tell the homies. Blood needs to keep Fruit Town Paru out his mouth. Yo, you heard? Yeah, whack. You hear him say, yo, yo your blue face was asking, where you from, man? Where you from? Where you, where, where you from? He didn't want to say. Why did, uh, hey, when you get hit up, where you from? From Cali? Being the Cali? We saying where we from. Yeah, you going to jail, man. Yo, Soldier Boy, that was a bad look. That was a bad look right yeah. there. Yeah. What? He made it seem like, oh, the I ain't finna say where I'm from because the police gonna come get me. Like, come on, bro. Man, there's no law. There's no on, law bro. against being a gang member. There's Hello? law against doing gang activity. He's like, no, I ain't finna say where I'm from. We don't love the police, man. You police. No, Rico. that ain't no police. He said they got a Rico going up. Nobody, ain't nobody looking at that. What about no? They look at this soldier Rico. boy just no more than they looking at Chris Brown. Hello. Chris Brown told the world, I'm "Not a Muslim. I'm not a Jewish." Paul Hello. That's why I had to say, "Hey." <laughs> yeah. thing I can say, he been sipping this for a long time. I, he looked like he, he looked serious about it. I had to keep it real. I'm like, yo, Chris Brown been screaming. A long time. He, he serious. They said, they, they said Soldier Boy. Saying about his ruin, huh, Wack? What? Huh? They said Soldier Boy was GD, then he was Crip, then he came, and then he became a pop, uh, Fruit Town. Yeah, I wasn't done. I went, I, you know, Soldier Boy was just Soldier Boy to me. I, I didn't never know he was GD, none of that. He come out here, you know, they get to hanging around this store. He, he Chicago. He from Chicago or? I don't know. I thought he was from the South. I don't nah, know. he turned G in Atlanta, bro. He from Chicago, bro. He His dad still live out there. He ended up moving to Atlanta. We only know look, Soldier look, look. Boy as the hey, yo, Superman hey, yo, at the yo, cheer yo, competition. Nah, yo, I only know him as cheer yeah, competition. Yeah, yeah, I just want to put Soldier Boy in Chicago, how they be putting everybody on New York. So I just want to do that for every other state. You know what I'm saying? It's so, all good. He from Chicago. All good, y'all got to Y'all got to Y'all should have. Nah, stop that scene. Hold on, You crazy. We'll take that loss. But see, who they be that putting in New York? That's what I thought. Look it up. Right. We don't look it up. I 
Don't nah, even. I'm with y'all, man. Come on, man. I'm f with y'all. But he definitely, he definitely is from Chicago. It's Ray Gift TV. Moved to Mississippi, he though. Is. He definitely from Chicago, moved to Mississippi. What's wrong with y'all? He moved from Chicago to Mississippi, to, to, to the South. No, no, that's not a lie. I'm not making that up. That's really real. He did move from Chicago to Mississippi. Nah, he, he was born Mississippi. in Chicago, Illinois. Yep. And it's yeah. origin, or I guess it's when he was in Atlanta. Yeah, but he from the south of Chicago. His daddy still lives in Chicago. He moved to Atlanta at the age of six. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Same thing with Tupac, but y'all claim Tupac from the... I mean, I'm going to mute up. He wasn't even off the yeah. porch at six. I'm going to mute up. I'm going to mute up. I didn't mean to mute up. Tupac was rapping in New York. Like, no, no, no. He moved from yeah. New York. He moved from New York at a young age, but we... You know what I'm saying? What you mean at a young age? Hold on. Let's see what age Tupac was MC New York. Yeah, no, 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 no. Man, when did he right MC New York? But when did he leave bro, New York? Bro. When did he leave? When did he leave? Bro, if that nigga was old enough to have a buzz in the game, game for the fucking truck. Okay. Hold on, let's see. I am you. I thought he was you hanging out with he was hanging out with Ed Love and stretching them whack. You right. Look, at age 13, Shakur moved to Baltimore from New York. In 84. Come on, bro. 13. Was already in jail. <laughs> we was taking trips to YA at 13. Yeah, we yeah, was going to camp. We was going to camps and we was doing all... He so the bro, yeah. off yo, Beach, you, yo, Beach, you say he was going to camps? What'd you say? What? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought going to camp. Camp was a real you know, thing, Z. Oh, my mama. Yeah. One, zero to three months, track two, uh, three to six months, track three, six to nine months, track four, nine months to a year. Nigga, this is a fact. Google 433 South Encino Canyon Road, Malibu, California. Nigga, I remember the address, nigga. Wow. Because it's right before Not camps, we go to YA. We that. go to camps before YA. You that go to camps. right next door to where you seen that movie with the rock on it. With Challenger. The, That's with the juvenile kids yep. on the football team. Right next door to Kill Patrick. Right, right next to Kill Patrick. Oh, yeah. That's a fact. We, yeah, I went to the hole when they sent me to the hole. I went next door to Kill Patrick. Hey, whack. You go there before you go to YA. So you just goes to yeah, camp, place me camp, camp and then it goes to YA. And so I did. That, that, I did. You and I hauled and let me out. Came back, camp, let me out with a track two program. Three to six months. Came back, back to camp, sent me back to camp. Did a track four program, nine months to a year. Came back, why, why penitentiary? That's how it goes. That's that's. <laughs> and a why you the state theme is just like prison. You get a state number. There ain't no. Oh, more. so you get a state number from the camp? Yeah. It's yeah, we get a state number. You are a ward of the state. You gotta go to board to get out. <laughs> that's why no ju counseling. juvenile life is to twenty five. You can get juvenile life. You can get juvenile life. You twenty five. It's age 25, 11 months, 29th day. They hold you to you 25 years, 11 months, 29th day, and they let you go. It's called a wide lifer. So well, you might go at 13. You got juvenile life, you're going to do 12 and some change. You're going to do till you 25, 11 months, 29th day. They let you out the day before you turn 26. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry, that's a long time. Yeah, they got the St. Mary's don't. camp, but I think I think in New York the St. Mary's camp they I mean like the uh, little school they get out at like eighteen or twenty one. They get out the young. They don't you don't stay there to twenty five. I don't think so. Cause all my St. Mary's got out. At, at, they came out at nineteen. We used to always see them at nineteen. But they was burnt out by that time though. So they are going fourteen. Man, so come out nineteen. Me, they was gone. Look, you telling me, Zane, that. Because you told me where you lived at. So you telling me by the age of 13, you didn't know what was going on? In regards to like the Canton. Like, I mean, I only no, knew it from this. You didn't know what was going on on your block. Oh, no, I know what was going on for sure, for sure. This born in, 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 in Harlem in 1971. He was in Harlem till 84. 
So I'm gonna say. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna mute up. 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 Drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the video. Appreciate the support. Everybody tuning in from the situation and the content at hand, man. So what you guys think about Soldier Boy and Blue Face? What? Y'all heard him. A fight in the ring. They can get a bag. I think that's what's going to come out of this. You know what I mean? Like, they got some great promo going. They're both a draw. I mean, like, we know Blue is a really big draw. Soldier Boy got his clout. So why not make it happen and capitalize off this situation? You know what I mean? Because everybody's already talking about it. So with that being said, why don't they just go ahead and get that bread? You feel me? But what you guys think, man? Who's your money on? What round? Do you see a knockout? Like, let me know in the comments down below, man. I want to know what y'all think. You feel me? I mean, my opinion, that boy soldier's going to have to get his weight up, man, for real. Because he's he lacks in uh, reach and weight so i mean it's gonna be a uphill battle you know what i mean if they are to get in the ring then we got blue face that's been sparring with mayweather i mean he got hands compared to to soldier like come on man it's blue face man listen i don't know that's gonna be a real tough bout for soldier you know i think he will get in the ring though get the money but i don't think he's you know he got good odds to win in this fight you know what i mean so we're going to see what happens, man. Keep our ears to the streets for sure. But they are saying that Soldier sent the location and Blueface pulled up. But Soldier was a no show. You know what I mean? And you probably going to hear him say, oh, I was there and you didn't show up, so I left. Like, you guys know how that be. Like, that's the only excuse he could come up with. Well, I was there and you wasn't, so I left. What I look like waiting around for you. You know what I mean? You know how it's going to go with the little back and forth, right? Tip for tat. So. We're going to see what happens, man. Keep our ears to the streets. I appreciate the support. It's your boy, Ray Give. But my message of the day, communication is key. Do what you have to do to stay out of these sticky situations. Keep your best foot forward. Make the most of your 24 hours. Stay down until you come up. You feel me? And worry about what you got going. Don't worry about the next person. You got to be proactive. Ain't nothing going to be handed to you. Don't nothing come to a dreamer. So get up off your shoulders. Go get to the bag. Don't make no excuses. Put foot to pavement. Go bleed the block. Go do what you got to do. That gets it done. You feel me? Eat your Wheaties. And there it go. But shout out to everybody out there grinding, man. I see everybody, man. Clubhouse on lock. Clubhouse TV. Clubhouse shenanigans. The Ruminati Network. SJ got the Juice TV. Everybody out there. All my dogs, man. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep running up this content. Let's keep running up these numbers. You feel me? It's your boy. I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching another reaction video. Until next time, I'm gone. God bless. Peace.